Right now, fire investigators are trying to figure out the cause of a deadly fire in north suburban Zion. Three people died. A fourth was rushed to the hospital. Our Sharday Gray spoke to relatives of the victims. A relative tells us his mother, sister and uncle died in this house. He says this house has been in their family for a long time. A neighbor who lives right next door says he was woken up by a loud noise. Something went boom, just like that. A loud noise rattled George Gregory. He initially thought his brother fell, but when Gregory stepped outside, he saw his neighbor's house was on fire. It took him a while to put that fire out. <laughs> Cause it, I mean, that fire was intense. The fire broke out just before midnight in the 200 block of Enoch Avenue. When firefighters got here, they were immediately told that several people were trapped inside. This situation is a uh, uh, really worst case scenario for firefighters, a middle of the night fire that's already well involved uh, by the time our crews get here. Um, not knowing if the occupants even know there's a fire, let alone if they were able to get out or not. Unfortunately, in this case, they were not able to get out. Zion Fire Chief Justin Street says all three victims were found upstairs on the second level. They have been identified as 58-year-old Scott Copen, 54-year-old Gina Copen, and 41-year-old Crystal Copen, all from Zion. That's, ooh, that's terrible. That's terrible. Hate you, hate you here. Street said strong winds and the age of the home made fighting the fire difficult, and it took crews four hours to put it out. He says it's not clear if the smoke detectors were working, but they didn't hear the alarms when they arrived. There doesn't appear to be signs that they were alerting when we got here, and uh, that's, that's one of our biggest messages for anybody watching, um, is making sure you have working smoke alarms in all levels of your home. It's not clear what started the fire. The state fire marshal has been called out to help with the investigation. Reporting in Zion, Sharday Gray, CBS News, Chicago.